Welcome back to the 26th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework and in this one we're going to take a look at continuing with that midware.py file that we were working on in the last video and at that point it sort of worked because we were able to uh, get the middleware to sort of work in conjunction with the settings file so that Django would find the middleware and uh, it would be able to sort of run it when it, when it needed to. So now what we're just going to do is sort of configure the bit that we need to run to be able to do what we want it to do. So if you remember we're going to make the uh, make the website redirect to the login page if the user isn't logged in because at the moment they can go to other URLs uh, like their profile page for example even if they're not a logged in user necessarily. So let's go ahead and look at how we can fix that. So uh, on my screen this is sort of where we got to last time and we got this function but if we if we refresh so uh, at the moment this doesn't work and it says login required middleware object is not callable so this get response returns a function and we pretty much have to use that function so instead of just printing out something and I'm going to get rid of this path because we don't need that either I'm just going to put get response uh, as a attribute on that on that object being passed into the class so we call that self in this case so I'm just going to do self.getResponse is equal to getResponse and now we can use that anywhere within the class so I'm going to use another special method called uh, cool like that uh, so that's two underscores remember and it's going to take self and it's going to take request so request is passed into this automatically and I'm going to pass request into that get response function. So the response that we're going to get back uh, from this get response function, so it's going to be equal to uh, self dot get response request, and then return request. Uh, sorry, response. So let's see. So now the development's ever refreshed, so we'll go and look at the page again and refresh. So now that works, but if we go to something like uh, just the, what was this? I think this is the profile page that we defined like that. And so what this is doing at the moment is it's still using that login required decorator. So to test the uh, middleware itself, I'm going to need to just uh, remove that decorator because we're sort of making the middleware to be able to replace this login required decorator on all our view functions. So if I use this home function, this home view as an example, uh, I'm going to be able to go to forward slash account because that's the URL that is uh, linked with that view. And at the moment we can go into account even though I don't think we are a logged in user. I think we can do profile as well. So profile redirects because we've got that login required. So we can take that off and it should just uh, allow us to go to that page. So now that you can see on the profile page we're an anonymous user which means we're not logged in and I've removed this login required decorator so that we're not logging in, we're not being redirected to the login page using that decorator. So to do this using the middleware instead I'm going to do a few things. So the first thing is I need to use regular expressions uh, to be able to deal with the URLs uh, so, so all the URLs pretty much using are using regular expressions uh, to be able to define them. So I'm just going to import regular expressions, and I'm also going to use one more thing, which is uh, from Django. Dot shortcuts. Import redirect. So in earlier versions of Django as well, to point out, this is HTTP response. Redirect, I think. Uh, redirect. And that would be from Django.http, like that. Uh, but in the latest version of Django, it's just redirect like that. So now that we've got that imported, this is going to be used to redirect to login. Uh, that's just a standard redirect uh, URL. So we'll pass in uh, the settings.login URL into that redirect, and then it should just redirect but we have to still decide when it's going to redirect. So, the there's one method in uh, the Django middleware class that we're implementing which needs to be implemented 
specifically called this because that's how Django is going to know when to run it, if that makes sense. So I'll just type it out and then I'll explain. So if we do process view, this process view method is going to run when uh, Django is about to call one of the view functions. So we've got here lots of view functions. Let's say we're going to the account for slash profile. It's going to load this uh, page using the view function uh, called view profile. But what it's going to do just before that is it's going to run our middleware method process view. Now you can read all, all the uh, hooks as they're called in the Django documentation, middleware documentation. Uh, but for this particular example, we're just going to use the process view. Now, because this is a special method, Django does actually pass some things into it that we have to just sort of be ready to accept. So those things are request, and that's pretty standard. Most things uh, get past requests in Django, or a lot of like the view functions and things, they all take request. Uh, also, view func. So that's going to literally be the uh, function object that is being uh, that's about to be called. So let's say it was the view profile uh, view that was about to be called in the case of this page uh, account slash profile. So let's say in the case of this profile page that this view profile view function is the one that's being called in order to power this page. So the function object right before it's get going to get called is going to be passed into the view func uh, as a parameter to this method. So we can use that in our middleware if we need to, but that's just a parameter that we're expected to accept. So another one is view args, and the other one is view quarks. So if you're confused ever about any any sort of Django stuff like this, just look in the documentation because it's a really, really good resource. Uh, that's one of the things that people like so much about Django is the fact that it's got such good documentation. So do feel free to use that if you're sort of unsure about something with Django. I'm sure you've probably found it already if you're Googling things regularly with um, figuring out stuff for Django. So I'm just going to double check that request.user is actually a thing. It does exist. And there's a nice way of doing that in Python. So I can say assert, which is a keyword if you didn't know in Python. And I can say has at attribute, so has attra, like that. And I can say request. So the request object has the attribute user. So that's just going to double check that request.user exists and if it doesn't then it will throw an error, it will fail at that point. Uh, so we need to know that request.user exists, uh, that this method hasn't been called in some weird way that we've you know we've done ourselves. It has to be called you know as part of the middleware process. In other words that's sort of what this is sort of helping to check for. And um, now we don't have to do that, but it's just it's good practice to be able to check that. And now what I want to do is redirect the user if they're not authenticated and the URL is not one of the exceptions. So we need to define the URLs which are exceptions like login, logout and register, for example. They're probably going to be the three that we're going to define as exceptions. And I'm also going to redirect the user if it's not one of those URLs. So I'm going to say if the user is not authenticated, so request dot user dot is authenticated so that's a method that we're calling and that's going to return a boolean value so true or false so for now I'm just going to say if true and remember this is just a placeholder because it's always going to be true otherwise um, I'm just going to say return redirect and I'm going to redirect it to uh, remember we've imported settings here so I can say redirect to settings dot login URL and that's going to be uh, the one that we've defined already in our settings uh, not login redirect just login URL and that's going to redirect us and then we can change it in settings if we need to uh, it's much better than hard coding the URL so now that we've got the basic redirect set up and we should see if we refresh it just um, so it's causing lots of redirects because it's always going to be true but we need to fix this now, and we need to think about the uh, the actual exempt URLs themselves, and we're going to use regular expressions to sort of handle that. So now that I've covered a bit about the process view method in the Django middleware, 
Uh, in the next one, I'm going to sort out the exempt URLs, which we're going to define in the settings, and then say for all other URLs, we're going to use uh, the redirect as long as it doesn't match one of the exempt URLs. And so the next video is going to be handling that using a bit of regular expressions.